Hello, this is Angelia with today's Bible reading. Today's reading comes from 2 Timothy 2, an unashamed workman. Remind them of those things and solemnly charge them in the presence of God not to wrangle about words. And some people are like that. They nitpick and wrangle about each little word and what it means to them. <laughs> which is useless and leads to the ruin of the hearers. But diligent to present yourself approved to God as a workman or woman who does not need to be ashamed, accurately handling the word of truth, but avoid worldly and empty chatter, for it will lead to further ungodliness. And I'm sure you've listened to um, sermons where they go off on a worldly tangent about, you know, this example or that example. There's this one guy who preaches that I don't care for on a, a certain church uh, that I watch uh, because he's a, a sub and when he comes in, all he talks about is sports. And, you know, uh, everyone doesn't care for sports, so if you're using sports analogies constantly to talk about the Word of God, some people are just going to be turned off by you doing that. And their talk will spread like, oh my gosh, this is wrinkly, gangrene among them or Hymenius and Philetus, men who have gone astray from the truth, saying that the resurrection has already taken place, and they upset the faith of some. Nevertheless, the firm foundation of God stands. Having this seal, the Lord knows those who are his. And so when the world questions you, you know, be happy that God knows who's his. Even if the world doesn't believe you are, it doesn't matter because God knows who's his. Everyone who names the name of the Lord is to abstain from wickedness. Now in a large house, there are not only gold and silver vessels, but also vessels of wood and I'm going to turn the page here of earthenware and some to honor and some to dishonor. Therefore, if anyone cleanses himself from these things, he will be a vessel for honor, sanctified, useful to the master, prepared for every good work. Now flee from youthful lusts and pursue righteousness, faith, love and peace with those who call on the Lord from a pure heart but refuse foolishness and ignorant speculations knowing that they produce quarrels now, I'm sure we know people like that um, who are ignorant and they just love drama they just can't get enough drama they always want to cause some drama and you're just like why why don't you want to live a happy peaceful life why always wanting drama that's crazy The Lord's bondservant must not be quarrelsome, but be kind to all, able to teach, patient when wronged, with gentleness correcting those who are in opposition. If perhaps God may grant them repentance, leading to the knowledge of the truth, and they may come to their senses and escape from the snare of the devil. And that's the goal, you know, that's what we want people to do. Having been held captive by him to do his will. So, you know, if you're a workman, a workwoman of God, don't be ashamed. Be unashamed because God knows who you are, even if other people have questions. <laughs> Amen. That's all for now.